Hey everybody. Merry Christmas. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos right here. I thought it was a really good thing, a really good idea or chance to do a video like this. But before I do that, let me get my phone out because I actually have notes. Help keep track of certain things that I had thought of. I actually thought that this would be a really good idea to do uh, because two reasons. One, it's Christmas and to help give out some Christmas ideas, uh, gift ideas for Christmas. And then two is because like I've said in previous videos, I've started working at Dick Sporting Goods and one thing I've noticed around Christmas season is there's a lot of people out there who one, don't fish and two, don't know really what to get people for gifts that do fish. So I'm here to help with that right now. I sat down and I made a list out on my notes app in my phone of just a few different gift ideas that if you're somebody who, who doesn't know what to get somebody, here's just a couple of different items that in my opinion are really good generic. And the reason why I say generic is this is stuff that every angler, doesn't matter if you're a pond, doesn't matter if you're a boat, whatever, that someone could get you that you could use and be a really good gift. Just broad generalization of things. These are in no particular order. These are just ideas that I had and I wanted to share with all of you. The first one is a pair of pliers. It's not just like a pair of needle nose pliers that like you can go pick up at any regular hardware store or whatever no uh the reason is treble hooks on your baits on your lures you need a good pair of pliers that's going to withstand and not rust to help you get those out or you know you get that you get that fish hooks a little bit down there in the gut in the in the in the in the throat um good pair of pliers get down there get that hook get that hook out fish's life there's a lot of good brands but definitely i would say a good gift idea for somebody is a good pair of pliers the second scale this is the guggen squad scale i absolutely love it again whether you're from the bank or the boat if you want to know what your pb is and actually not have a quote unquote fish story um you need a good scale i don't like those that you you lip them through the gills, preferably one that has a pair of fish grips at the end of it. It's just with the fish grips, you know, you just put it in the fish's jaw, lock it up, it's going to stay, and then it's it's it just hangs here. And it doesn't hurt the fish. With the fish grips, I feel like the ones where you're putting it inside like their gills underneath and setting it there, me personally, I think that does hurt the fish a little bit. But fish grips right here, no harm. Now I will say this, I am going to give a little plug. I like the Guggen scale over a lot of other scales that uh, I have used before for two reasons. One, the nice little handle right here. Two, little part you probably didn't think about and I sometimes use or I actually I don't use, but I probably should use more, the ruler. It has a built-in ruler, little right here on the side so you can measure your fish too you can actually find this at dicks or your local academies or wherever wherever else is that they do a fishing tool bundle for like 45 dollars you get this the pliers and their scissors all in one like fishing fishing tool bundle or kit or whatever it's called okay so next this one may actually be more for your friends that are bank anglers, pond hoppers, stuff like that. And that is simply a good backpack. If you have a friend who goes pond hopping, stuff like that, they need a good backpack. It just helps carry all the tackle that they may need as they're walking that bank. This is mine. I like it, but there are others you can go. You don't just have, you don't have to get this. There are others out there find one that fits them or budget with whatever you're planning on spending you can get a larger one like this you can get a smaller one like a, just like a single like 
strap, shoulder. But the other cool thing is when you're getting the backpack, and here's the reason. Most of the backpacks are going to come with small little tackle box, like clear tackle boxes like this. This way, now you're getting two, two, two to three gifts in one. They're getting the bag and they're getting some tackle boxes that go with the bag to fit their lures like I have in mind. And if it doesn't have one of these, or at least one or two of these, find one that does. Trust me, find one that does. Storage, um, organization as you're walking, a bank is extremely helpful. Or if you're in a kayak, you can't take every single thing with you. But what you can do is you can prepare that day, put it in the bag, throw it behind your seat or wherever you can get to it easily, and then you're set for the day. Like a backpack is, I would say besides your rod and reel, the backpack is the next number one thing they should have. Hands down, no questions asked. Scale, pliers, yes backpack needed just make sure you're actually getting a fishing backpack don't get a nike don't get all that stuff don't don't think backpack backpack think fishing gear again storage any fisherman doesn't matter if it's a boat bank kayak wherever they have to have storage get them a backpack next you may notice them on my head but a good pair sunglasses specifically polarized lens sunglasses a good pair of polarized sunglasses are really important especially when it comes to early spring fishing and bed fishing what the polarized lens does it takes the reflectiveness of the sun off of the water so you're able to actually see down in the water clearer and clearer water than you would in just regular or not wearing them at all. That's really helpful for bank fishing or bed fishing from the bank or the boat. So you can see, actually see the fish, plain and simple. If you can see a fish, you should be able to catch a fish with a good pair of polarized sunglasses. A lot of different brands, a lot of different companies you can that do them, great gift great gift and besides who doesn't like sunglasses let's be real okay the last and final generic gift idea that i can share with you or give to you one thing i've noticed from working at dick's throughout these last few weeks is there have been a lot of people going in and they're looking at the lures they're looking at soft plastics they're looking at the hard baits they're looking at all this stuff and they have this just look of confusion or feeling of over being overwhelmed by all the options. Because let's be real, there's a lot of options when it comes to tackle. If you know nothing, like zero, if you a big old dumb dumb, and I mean that in a very joking, joking manner, I mean that that's a joke. But if you a big old dum dum when it comes to fishing and you're looking for gift ideas, buy a mystery tackle box. And I can guarantee you, I actually will, I don't say this a lot. I don't think I've ever said this on the channel before in a video before, but I guarantee and you know nothing about fishing and you go buy somebody, a friend of yours or a family member of yours that bass fishes a mystery tackle box they're going to love it. So if you don't know what Mr. Tackle Box is, I've done a video before, so you can go, I'll have the Juggernaut link right here. You can kind of go back and check out kind of what it is. But there's different levels to a Mr. Tackle Box. You have the basic, which is like $19.99. In store, 20 bucks. It's value over $25 worth of value. Each box has a little number beside it, and each box has different lures based upon the number of the box. Just the bass fishing, the little small green one, that's like 20 bucks. It is the basic. It is like the first level of the mystery tackle boxes. Then you go to the pro. 
that's like 30 30 35 dollars uh, but you get like a 40 dollar value inside of it then there's the elite those three right there the regular the pro and the elite those three would make really good stocking stuffers your boyfriend your son yeah whoever in your family or significant other or your grandkids whatever they need stocking stuffer ideas buy one of those three perfect stocking stuffer idea but you also have three others you got the mother load you got the juggernaut and you got the big old reserve crate those three you're getting more baits and more higher end baits because the value of those boxes are getting larger not the retail price of the boxes but the value that you're getting in those boxes is much, much greater. That's the important part. So that's it. Those are my gift ideas to each and every one of you. Before we go, just a couple of different things. I just wanna to say to all of you, thank you so much for the support of the last year. I am currently 25 subscribers away. Please don't poop on me. From hitting 500 subscribers in my first year. Not even a full year. If you wouldn't mind, do me a huge favor, please. Help me hit this goal. If you're not subscribed, please, it's a Christmas gift to me, go hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything. All that's going to do is help me reach certain goals with YouTube and then give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below if you if you watch this and then it's after Christmas and you bought one of these and they absolutely loved it, let me know. Let me know if it was helpful. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I love you. Bye.